hi guys this is question number two for the state estimation here you can see the power flow is from T line 1 T line 3 and PG 1 so for the detailed solution and concept you have to consult my video number one this is just a quick overview with some very important concepts so I have draw the circuit here the given data is TG1 T12 T23 with respect to alpha square we have to find the state estimation the formula for the state estimation is this one and in this values g inverse is this z is given r is also given r inverse we can find with respect to uh, r inverse can be find from the calculator okay the most important step in every state estimation is h okay in h uh, you have to uh, take with respect to this one uh, first one is tg1 i mean generator 1 so from here you can see generator 1 is feeding from line 1 to 2 and 1 to 3 so you have to write b1 to b1 is not a bus bar it is susceptance or in other words the inverse of reactance b1 to del1 minus del2 these are the state variables that we have to find plus b13 from line uh, uh, from bus 1 to bus 3 so del1 minus del3 similarly the next is t12 so b12 is del1 minus del2 and t23 is b23 del2 minus del3 here you have to see which bus you can select as a select bus because in a question it is not given if you see closely 3 is the load bus it cannot be a select bus select bus can be bus 1 or bus 2 but in bus 2 we have to find pg2 also in the second part of this question so if i take bus 2 as a select bus all the variable will be 0 and i cannot find the pg1 so better to take bus 1 as a select bus so if you take bus 1 as a select bus all the variables related to del1 would be 0 so i have made del1 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 0 so the next part is to put the values uh, you have to select del2 and del3 because del1 is already 0 uh, for del1 uh, del2 you have to put the values b12 or 1 over x12 into del2 x12 minus 1 over x12 then for del3 minus 1 over x13 similarly for del2 is 1 over x12 del3 is 0 in this case forget about the signs i will tell you uh, what i have done with these signs b23 is del2 minus del3 so 1 over x23 and minus 1 over x23 so as i told you in my previous video that when this flows are given t12 or 223 you have to take care of this sign in the questions here you can see that in the question it is given t12 flow is from 1 to 2 but in the diagram it is from 2 to 1 so we have to take the minus sign in the case of 1 2 and similarly in the given part is flow is from 2 to 3 but you can see it's not from 2 to 3 it's basically 3 to 2 here t l 3 arrow is this one you have to take care of the arrow so in both these cases we have to take the inverse signs so that's what i have done with this one but be careful when we are talking about the generator don't consider uh, this this type of uh, sign in inversion you have to take the same signs in case of generator 
so it must be minus 1 over x1 2 but as the flow is from 2 to 1 so I have take it positive similarly this must be positive but I have taken negative because flow is from 3 uh, to 2 similarly this must be negative but flow is from 3 to 2 that's why I have changed the sign so after putting the values I get h this one h of transpose this one g I will get by using the calculator multiply all these values this one and by uh, putting values by using the calculator I will get state variables as del 2 is this one and del 3 is this one because del 1 is already 0 so we will move to the uh, next portion of this question in the next portion is it is uh, saying that find the state find the estimated values for the real power injected by generator so we have to find the real power injected by generator g2 we can see clearly that it is injecting from pass 2 to 1 and pass 2 to 3 so we have take we have to take del 2 del 1 and del 2 del 3 let's come to the solution portion so pg2 so it is injecting from bus 2 to bus 1 del 2 minus del 1 over reactance of this line so it's line 1 and it is given 0 0.2 or you can uh, say x l1 plus injecting from 2 to 3 line 3 so simply put the values uh, del 1 is already 0 so simply put the values uh, and you will get your answer for pg2 uh, let me put the values and i will come back so after putting the values uh, del 2 and del 3 is already uh, we have found in the previous part and xl1 xl3 is given so the power injected by generator is 2.9453 so this will be our solution